Benin, the country, consists of 12 departments. In choosing areas I wanted to travel to for my Back to Basics series, I knew the Alibori department had to be one of them. The Alibori is located northeast and is bordered by Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and Niger. Its capital is Kondi. And in this episode, I'm taking you through the city of Kondi to share with you a little bit of what it is known for, as well as introduce you to the street foods I tried during my stay. Kondi is technically among the top 10 cities of Benin. Somehow the city has been neglected and I was disappointed to see that it looks more like a village than a city. Nonetheless, Kondi is an important region in Benin and many of our crops grow here. The economy of the region is dominated by the production of cotton, which is the main export and cash crop in Benin. It goes without saying that I had to visit a cotton field to see what it looks like for myself. So here's what the cotton plant looks like. It starts with the cotton seeds, and then you have the leaves, and the flowers, and then the bowls. When the plant is mature, the cotton bowls crack open to reveal the cotton fiber. The cotton seeds are also used to make cotton seed oil, which is used in cooking, but also as a remedy for certain skin conditions. Et ça, l'huile. Il a une partie pour la soie. Oh, c'est ça qui fait l'huile. Ouais, c'est ça. Et vendent une partie au Nigeria. Et ils vendent une partie à l'usine de Bénin aussi qui. Bien. Et nous sommes tous sur transforme. Ça c'est la voyage ça. The region of Kandi is also famous for a type of fabric made with cotton thread known as paintisse. For the Beninese watching this, this is similar to what is known as convo in other regions of Benin. And if you know me, you know that I had to document the process. With Burkina Faso being so close to the border, I asked her if this fabric was similar to the fabric made in Burkina Faso. She said no, explaining that the Burkina Faso version we wear in Benin is actually made with tie dye. No, it's not the same. For the Burkina, it's tinted. Here, we make it. Okay. We make it tinted. Okay. 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 When she's done, this is what the final product looks like. It is worn by locals on special occasions. Now, let's talk about the street foods that I enjoy during my stay. Starting with the easy ones. Number one, candy bread. These sweet and soft buns are so delicious. If you ever go to candy, you have to try them. Number two, sugar cane. I don't know what it is about the sugar cane here, but it is the best I've ever had. It is typically sold by the Zarma people who are from Niger. Number three, pounded yam or sokura. You already know, no trip to northern Benin is complete without this dish. Man. Number four, bita. This is a type of porridge made with different cereal grains. This one is made with corn, and I showed you what the process looks like in the previous episode. Number five, masa. This can be made with different cereal grains. This version is made with rice. Think of masa as mini pancakes made with rice batter. <laughs> Here, masa is eaten with a mix of spices known as yazi. Number six, fura. If you recall, in my last episode, I talked about umu and showed you how she makes these mini millet dough balls known as fura. 
Traditionally here, the fura balls are mashed into fermented cow milk. In the version that I tried, instead of just the fermented cow milk, I also asked for powdered milk, which was an option that she offered. <laughs> One can also add sugar, which normally I think everybody adds sugar, but you can also add ice and a mix of spices known as yazi. <laughs> Fura is actually considered a full meal, and you're probably going to pass out after eating it. <laughs> Number 7. Guinea fowl. Guinea fowl is sold in almost every street corner at night in Kandi. We ate this every single night, and if you're into meat, I highly recommend trying it when you come here. That's it for this episode. Let me know in the comment section which one of these street food you're interested in trying. I'm not sure what next episode will be about just yet, but I'm thinking about going back down to Southern Benin. We'll see. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.